For more than four decades, it is a major celebration in downtown Hazleton. Of course, I'm talking about Fun Fest. I'm here with the Fun Fest lady herself, Mary Malone, who is the president of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce, which hosts this huge event each and every year. Mary, we're so glad it's that time of the year. Fun Fest is back. It's one day this year on Sunday, September 11th, but the fun is still in Fun Fest. A hundred percent. And greetings from the committee and especially our chair, Andy Pisco, who one of the uh, one of the founding folks mm -hmm. of um, of Fun Fest, and can't forget about Joe Scarcella. Nope, never. <laughs> uh, as well. So yeah. So um, four decades evolving and changing, and so this year uh, focused on one day and some again some more changes. Uh, we're going to be in the Kendu Community Park between Broad and Laurel and also on um, the city's Wyoming Street parking lot. That's where all of the vendors will be. Still the parade, which is everybody's cornerstone and the big balloons and fire department and uh, lots of other local groups, bands and things of that nature, which kicks off at 2.30. Okay. Um, we're really happy to be uh, co-blended with the 9-11 uh, memorial exhibit at the launch box um, from 10 to 6 both Saturday and Sunday. So First Presbyterians doing kids activities with an assist from Lackawanna College. We'll have bingo for folks of all ages and some local entertainment. So should be a good a good Sunday. That sounds really nice. And I know also part of it you told me is peace, love, and chalk with the Hazleton Art League. So that's a big deal too. It is. And you know what we're excited about this year? Um, again, we've been on hiatus for two years with, uh, with the pandemic, like many other uh, annual events and things like that. Um, but their building is open too. So you'll be able to see artists on Spruce Alley doing their thing for big competition dollars, thousand dollars for the adult winner. I think an iPad is for, uh, for the younger age group. Um, and then the building will be open as well and some, some fun things happening there too. That's a gorgeous building. You have to go in and see that. It really is. It's really, I remember seeing it through the changes. So that is really fantastic. So now of course there's going to be food, because yes. <laughs> everybody comes to Fun Fest for the food. Absolutely. So we're going to have the vendors, but they'll be different. They're not going to line Broad Street this time. They'll be lining Spruce Street, is it? Um, actually, they'll actually be in the park and okay. then in the in the parking lot there, too. Okay. So uh, with a good, safe layout, we've been working with Police Chief Brian Shoemaker from the city. Um, so we're excited about it. And Sunday was always kind of a focus on nonprofits. Mm -hmm. So again, another good time to come out and meet. So whether it's um, local home cooking from one of the churches, some fun games, um, and again, activities for all the chance to listen. And then after the parade, we're going to have a prayer service, again, related to uh, 9, because actually Sunday is 9-11, to the remembrance and things like that. So. And we just want to remind everybody, too, that while Fun Fest is one day, you're also having the big uh, memorial coming in, the World Memorial 9-11 Remembrance Mobile Exhibit. It's going to be at the Hazleton Launch Box, not only on Fun Fest Sunday, but the day before from 10 to 6. So that's free, open to the public. They can go in both days. So that's going to be a very big draw for downtown. A hundred percent. And um, all of the fun fence activities are also um, are also free. Yes. So. Fun Fest is really a great thing. The parade, though, everybody looks forward to that. That is the big, uh, the big deal at the end of the weekend. So that's going to be happening. And you tell me there's activities also going on in the Joyce Building. That's where our state representative's office. Is. That's correct. That's where we'll actually do the uh, the bingo and uh, the kids' activities, and we'll have everything marked and um, signed and things like that. And then. So we'll be shutting down Broad Street, closer to parade kickoff at 2.30, but people will be able to park in the uh, city parking uh, right off of the other one off of Wyoming and then on the side streets too, so. So very good. So we have a lot happening. Again, Fun Fest Sunday. You want to be there. There's so much going on. Uh, the memorial service for September 11th is at 430. But the big parade that everybody comes for is at 230. Come early, get your food, your fun, your activities but be part of Fun Fest, right, Mary? Absolutely. All right. Hope to see you there and hope to see you there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll, hope we'll see you there too. Have a great day. 
Today's news feature is brought to you by Feisner's Ford and Freeland, who is celebrating 75 years in business. Give them a call at 570-636-3920, or you can log on to FeisnersFord.com.